With katanas in his forearms and the ability to teleport and shoot lasers like Cyclops, the first live-action version of Deadpool couldn't be further from the comics. Cyclops doesn't shoot lasers out of his eyes. The beam is concussive, not hot. His eyes are portals to what has become, what has known to be called the, quote, punch dimension. Jesus the Christ. punch dimension? Yeah. Like, like Hawaiian punch? Like, it's red, it's because it's Hawaiian punch. The Hawaiian punch yeah, dimension. Yeah, that's where the Kool-Aid man that's comes from. That's where the Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kool-Aid Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Kool-Aid man just busts through a f-ing wall. Sir, sir, I would like to see your certification that proves that you are a laser scientist. Yeah. So in their mind, I should have written with katanas in his forearms and the ability to teleport and open open portals to another dimension to shoot concussive blasts like Cyclops. Yeah. And then and then everyone would have been like, what the f*** are you actually talking about? Yeah, I know, but then these, two, would... these two commenters would have just c*** in their pants right then. But right. he got it right. Oh, God, he knows it's concussive. <laughs> More like <laughs> cussive. <Yeah. What? laughs> Making stuff is hard, especially in the entertainment world when there are millions of dollars on the line. And we are going to talk about these disastrous, never ending, and sometimes dangerous productions. This is The Shit Show. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Ian, joined by Ray. Hi. And Clint. Hello. Today on It Was a Poop Shoe show. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, you (laughs) fucked it up. It was a poop shoe. Maybe that's the Canadian version. (laughs) Right? It was a poop shoe, eh? Well, you also threw me off by saying, having Ray say hello first. I was like, oh, am I supposed to try to do something funny like Ray does? I wasn't prepared. Oh, God, I was not prepared for that. Okay, the poop show. We're talking about the very family-friendly movie Deadpool. Yay! Yay. Kids all around. Hooray! Uh, so with Free Guy coming out this past weekend, after being delayed for nearly two years at this point, um, I figured it was time to cover another Ryan Reynolds comedy that took thirteen years to get made. Mm. And this is another film I have already covered in a video during my time at the other channel. The other, channel that shall not be Other named. channel. His boobs. His. His. Um, <laughs> you can go watch that if you like. It's but... good. It's good. I watched it again today. <laughs> oh, good. It's good stuff. So you can watch that if you like, but we're going to cover all the same beats um, and some extra uh, extras in there. Then again, dive into the ridiculous world of YouTube comments. Wait, before we um, go any further, I have to ask you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the the green mushrooms in Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, the one-ups. Okay, you called them one-ups? Yeah. So I always called them free guys. And when I started dating Ian, he was like, free guy, what the fuck? Like, that's fucking stupid. It's a one-up. And I was like, whatever, we always called no, it a free extra guy. guy. I would call, I, we always called them extra oh, okay. guys. Anyway, right. I called it a free guy. And then when this movie, when the Ryan Reynolds movie Free Guy came out, I was like, ah! Fuck you! I feel so vindicated! <laughs> like, I was so fucking excited because he gave me such shit for calling those a free That's guy. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, no, one-ups. <laughs> now, the two of you are probably wondering, what did Clint bring tonight? Or oh, where boy. tonight? Are you going to peel off your face and there's going to be a horribly no, disfigured have, face underneath? I have two things, though. <laughs> My very first Deadpool action figure oh, with, the, with the retractable blade so you could actually stab the other toys. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. And that looks like it was made in 1982. Uh, this was, well, Deadpool was like 1994 or something. Let me see. Oh, it's got it here on his leg. 92. Yeah, 92. 92. Mm. Uh, huh. And then my son loves Deadpool and oh, he let weird. me wear his shirt. Oh. You're wearing a child's shirt. You're I'm wearing, wearing my child. son's shirt, and it's super tight on me. I was actually going to say, or is that super huge on him? Yeah. Is that like his it's very pajamas big on, shirt? It's very big on him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it is, it is extremely uncomfortable right now. Mm. Just sharing clothes with your 10-year-old, 10-year-old? My 10-year-old. Your 10-year-old yeah. son. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, and then 
you know, it's funny as I, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but the uh, which is why it's awesome. Um, <laughs> the uh, uh, after the movie had j was just about to come out, Wolverine was just about to come out. I got a call from one of the executives of the studio. He said, "Where are you?" And I said, oh, "I'm I'm up in Canada." He's like, "We need you to fly here right now." And I was like, "What's wrong? What's going on?" It's like we've tested the movie, and people are very upset about the Deadpool, about everything we did at the Deadpool. And I was like, "You fucking did it! <laughs> I told you." And they, so we shot this little tag that happens at the very end after the credits where Deadpool's severed head is on the ground and I open my eyes and my mouth is now open and I go, shh. And it was just so dumb, but we did it anyway, I guess, to sort of make people think that there might be another Deadpool after that. It just, then it just rotted and died on the shelves of Fox forever. <laughs> they never wanted to make a Deadpool movie after that, so, All yeah. Right, yeah, but we made the right one now, so there, yeah, there you go. Looks yeah. great. I can't yeah. wait to see cool. it. Cool, thank you. Okay, so Deadpool, uh, the movie... For we're not going to talk about comics, uh, but the idea of a Deadpool movie uh, started while Ryan Reynolds was making Blade Trinity with writer director David Goyer. That's the third Blade film, mm -hmm. and you've watched the first one. You haven't seen the other two. Yeah, that's uh, true. We will actually get to Blade Trinity at some point because oh, it cause... is it is a shit show. Uh, yeah, the the only good part of that movie is Ryan Reynolds. Uh, fact. That is a fact. But we're not going to talk about that movie. But David Goyer at the time was, he was just, he's a big comic book geek and he was approached to do all the comic book adaptations at the time. And just all of them all at once. <laughs> yeah. Like, like <laughs> David, David, David. No, no David. really. Like, shoving because, scripts in his face. Because he wrote Blade, which was the first um, big hit of comic book movies, followed by Spider Man or X-Men, then Spider-Man. Um, so he was given stuff like, uh, he had a moment with Thor. Um, I discovered just recently Venom. And he has since done Batman Begins. Um, so he he's done a lot of that. Um, and he really liked Reynolds because he was one of the few that could convincingly do action and comedy. And so and he really compared Reynolds to Wade Wilson. And so suddenly he was like, oh, that's like, we should make that. We should uh, make that together. And that same year, the issue of Cable and Deadpool number two, um, Deadpool describes his face looking like Ryan Reynolds crossed with a Sharpay. <gasps> and so, so Faint. right. Yeah, exactly. And Reynolds sees this and he's just like, uh, what? Like, I apparently really need to get into this. And so he dives into Deadpool and he's like, yes, I absolutely want to be. What um, year was this? I I don't know. I guess I forget that Ryan Reynolds has been around for a while. You know <laughs> Cable what I mean? and Deadpool publication date ran from May two thousand four to April of two thousand eight. Oh, okay, it wasn't like it wasn't oh, that like a long Blade, ago. Blade Trinity. Blade Trinity two thousand four. Okay, so two thousand four. That was the year. Yeah. Okay. Um, so two thousand four um, because it was the issue number two. So this was like really kind of fade for him. And he was like, I want to be in it. Um, so Goyer tried to get the film off the ground with New Line Cinema, um, who made the Blade movies, but the rights to Deadpool um, fall under Mutants, which mm -hmm. is the X-Men label, which is owned by 20th Century Fox. So Goyer could never actually get this movie made. Um, so he just kind of abandons it. So that same year, Fox started their um, ideas of doing... Um, X-Men origin films since uh, those those were kind of uh, really kicking off, especially X2. And so they're going to start off with a Magneto film and then Wolverine. And so, and it was kind of like, uh, that's kind of an interesting idea. I don't really want to dive into the X-Men movies. They bother me endlessly. But uh, <laughs> Wolverine <laughs> was going to be written by uh, David Benioff. It was like one of his big big first movies um, who went on to do Game of Thrones. And since the X Weapon X program that created Wolverine was also the same one that made Deadpool, it made sense to add Wade Wilson. And so they were like, oh, this would be perfect time to bring in Wade Wilson into this movie. And Re Ryan Reynolds was the only considered choice. So they were just instantly like him. Yeah, this was for the Wolverine, X-Men Origins Wolverine movie? Yeah. So... That movie is its own <laughs> shit show again. Um, We're going to have to do shit show spinoffs from this episode. Spinoffs, spin spinoffs. No, spin really. Um, you have no idea. <laughs> and uh, so, but like I've actually 
debating about doing an X-Men series, a video series, like I'm doing with the Avengers um, videos, because every single film in that franchise was a shit show. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, and even, it explains... the, even the most recent ones with the the, the younger cast? Yes, with, with absolutely. With hot Xavier. When I James say, <laughs> yes, <laughs> when I say the name Brian Singer, yes, yes, oh, yeah, yeah. So. that piece of shit. And Ivan Ooze is playing Apocalypse. That's a Power Rangers oh, yeah, deep yeah, yeah, cut yeah, yeah. right mm. there for you. Because yeah. <laughs> he looked really stupid. Uh, yeah, don't oh ever, don't ever say Power Rangers deep cut again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's tattooed on me. <laughs> on your butt cheek? Yes, right next to Xavier next to Roberts' the, signature. Next to the Cabbage Patch Kids one. <laughs> Um, okay, so Ryan Reynolds at the time, what, like, so he gets in, gets into the movie. They're doing a bunch of rewrites. It was being hampered by uh, the writer strike. They replaced the director, kind of, for por- part of it. They did a shit ton of reshoots on it, and you know that film series that continued on. No, it did not. <laughs> um, and Ryan Reynolds said um, he was kind of like reading the script, and he's like, it completely. It completely departed all canon and reason, and he wound up being this abomination of Deadpool that was more that was like Baraka Pool, yeah, with his mouth sewn shut, um, and then those blades, right? Baraka um, wins. Uh, the conversation at the time, I always have to go back to Mortal Kombat, don't we? Um, yeah, every always. <laughs> yes, the conversation at the time was: if you want to play Deadpool, this is your chance to introduce him, and if you don't introduce him in this fashion. We'll have someone else play him. Uh, oh, so it's like if you want to do what you want to do with the character, you got to do this. What we want you to do. Yes, exactly. So it's sort of yeah. So he was like, oh, maybe after this, like I can do more yeah. movies and like do before movies before my mouth was sewn shut. Yeah, and yeah, but and it, but he was sitting there making this, going, this is such a bad idea. Like, I mean, the, the first live action version of Deadpool could not be further from the comics. I mean. Literally, his mouth is shown shut. The merc with the mouth has a his mouth sewn shut, and then he shoots lasers out of his eyes, and he like he don't has... say lasers. <laughs> the YouTube comments they're they're all over that. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> oh no, the nerds. Uh, the, nerds. the nerds are mad. Uh, um, uh, well, so I was gonna ask, like, why did they decide to make that choice? Was that is that something that happens later? Or is it a plot? And they're like, oh, we're gonna put this. In. Or they're just like, this will be ironic. I don't know how any or some dumb bullshit like that. I don't know how any fan of the X Men comics can enjoy almost any of the films because they are Ooh. so bastardizing to yeah. it. Like I understand, there's a lot of times it's very it's a very '90s thing to do that they just continued doing, where they're just like just grabbing whatever the fuck they wanted to to meet the needs, whatever they wanted to do. Yeah, and um, well, it's almost like, well, what are the fans? What do the fans want to see? They want to see Apocalypse. Okay, well, let's do a movie with Apocalypse and just let's just give them a. a, a an okay look at you know, fan just favorite, ignore all the all the all his history yeah. and all his powers and just, fan favorite is Psylocke. Let's bring on Psylocke. Okay, are we gonna make her cool? No, she's gonna be kind of watered down. <laughs> yeah, and let's, only let's, have a line or or even freaking with this with Wolverine's like, well, well, who's another fan favorite? Uh, Gambit. Like, or let's bring in Gambit. Who should we get? Should we get someone really charismatic and no. Cajun and French? No, let's get that stupid kid from that stupid <laughs> football movie. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, or, that was a just, terrible Gambit casting choice. Like terrible. um. Just by and large, the fact that it, it became so much about Wolverine and Cyclops became such a backdoor character. Oh, you're talking about like, the whole movie, the movie franchise. series, oh, like yeah, yeah. and and uh, like the, let's do the Dark Phoenix saga where she becomes the Dark Phoenix. But to subdue the Dark Phoenix, she needs the love of Cyclops to stop her. Oh no, the, let's just make that the kickoff point and kill off Cyclops. I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. it's just full of shit like that. That the, those that's why those movies drive me fucking crazy because yeah. they don't give a shit and they were just throwing stuff together and that's why they were like he, they pooled together a bunch of mutant powers to make this Deadpool. Hey, do you remember how cool uh, Days of Future Past was and like Bishop was a really cool character and like he was pivotal in that storyline. Let's make him just like a really like a C character in the movie and let's let Wolverine do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or Mystique. <laughs> yeah, like because Jennifer Lawrence is popular and has an Oscar, we have to make her the main character, which she's not. <laughs> no, yeah. she's not that important. Uh, it's just they just yeah, the yeah. whole series just fucking could not care less. So 
the film leaks online uh, a month before release and has a terrible reception. People are just like, what the fuck is this? And yeah. it just gets out and everybody's like, this movie's garbage. And so the studio freaks out and calls Ryan Reynolds and he's in Mexico with some friends. And he's like, you need to get on a plane right now. We need to we need to correct some of this stuff in here. And, and it's a month before the movie comes out. Damn. And all they did was, and, and Ryan Reynolds was like, I told, fucking told you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then. Because at this point, he's like knee deep in the comics and he knows the character inside and out. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. And yeah. it's nothing like him. Yeah. yeah. And so they, uh, so they hurriedly shot a stinger at the end credits of Origin. Um, at the time when you went to the theater, depending on which theater you were at, you saw a different credit tag. Oh, they clued you? Yes. <laughs> it was a clue situation? Yeah. yeah. But one of them- But not fun? Not fun. Yeah, it's one not of them, Mrs. Peacock. Bad clue. One of them goes to the rubble of the end battle, and you see a hand start crawling up to a face, and it's Ryan Reynolds- stupid Deadpool look mm -hmm. and he like opens his eyes and his mouth has been cut open so now he can talk and he just goes shh and that's it <laughs> it's really fucking stupid they're like we need a way out in case we want to make more of these yes. movies yes <laughs> it's it's so bad but then I was sitting there thinking about it so if he was if his head was cut off and watching the the current Deadpool where he gets cuts off his hand, he's got those little baby hands, and then the second one where he has like the baby feet, yeah, <laughs> shirt he's, like, cocking it, shirt cocking it, yeah, like does he have just <laughs> he like, like this like <laughs> just a head go on top of a baby, baby body, yeah, like, <laughs> like a, a cabbage patch doll, <laughs> or would his body grow a tiny baby head? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's kind of mm. fucked up. And there's two of them now. They're actually in the comic books. Is a second Deadpool and he's an amalgamation of all of Deadpool's like severed limbs. That really? been, yeah. <laughs> that's oh, cool. that's fucked up. <laughs> I like it. Wait, yeah. what's his name? Uh, just Deadpool? Yeah, I guess. I don't remember, but it's just mm. like, it's, it's a pooled. Deadpooled. <laughs> yeah. Deadpooled. Uh, so X-Men Origins Wolverine released in May of 2009 has a 37% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I think is generous. <laughs> that is generous. Pretty generous. I mean, those Looney Tune claws alone like should have gotten that a lower rating. Well, as, as we're talking about it, I'm just remembering all the other parts of that movie that I think are just so stupid. Yeah. Like a big part of Wolverine's like story is the amnesia that he has. Mm -hmm. You know how he got that? An adamantium bullet to the head that just like clonked him hard enough. They're just like, who yeah. am I? Yeah. And then he just, he gets <laughs> up. It's an actual scene quote yeah. from the movie. <laughs> no. Really? He like gets up and he's, they're at the, like the ruined rubble of that scene. And he just gets up and he's like, whoa, look at that. And then he yeah. just walks off. <laughs> what happened here? Someone's got to clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might have been more entertaining if uh, that was actually <laughs> how like it went some down. Comer pile. Yeah. Well, these blades come out of my hands. <laughs> the irony to all of that is that it's an antimantium bullet that kills Wolverine's clone in Logan. Yeah. <laughs> well, th yeah. I mean, I was just gonna say, yeah. I, like I know his whole thing is he's made of adamantium, but I would assume if he was shot with an adamantium bullet to the head, that would kill him. It's you know I mean, it's isn't a, that it's like the a same reason that why hard and steel swords don't go through each other when they hit <laughs> adamantium bullet is not going to go through adamantium. <laughs> are you a, are you an adamantium scientist, sir? I uh, need to see your certifications. No, no, no. A adamantium apologist. Apologist. <laughs> Look, are if you, you throw a rock you a at a rock, you're not going to like the rock's not going to shoot through the rock. <laughs> But they could break. But if you shot a rock bullet at a rock, it might. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking, the, the force, the force, the force of the, it, not the like, not oh, necessarily. You're, you're okay. Obviously, right. if I take these two aluminum cans and just do this, yeah, they're not going to go through each other. <laughs> Listen, I went to metallurgy college, okay? I know <laughs> okay, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But if I shot this can with an aluminum bullet, it sure as hell would go So would a vibranium it. bullet go through a vibranium shield? Ooh, that's a good, that's a good question. <laughs> just, um, and it, would, it would bounce off the shield and then just ricochet forever. Yeah. <laughs> this is now um, the Metals of Marvel podcast yeah. where we talk about all the different metals and their scientific... <laughs> all the different uh, ones. There's what, ooh, two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
to be fair, his shield is actually proto antimantium vibranium, but whatever. Oh my He's god, kidding. this really um, is. This okay. has become a medals of Marvel. <laughs> okay, I love it. There's two Origins. episodes: <laughs> one on vibranium, <laughs> one, one on, on adamantium. <laughs> Done. So, Series over. Okay, Origins Wolverine. <laughs> uh, shit movie barely makes its budget back. Despite the poor reception, that same weekend Fox was all like, everybody loved Ryan Reynolds. And so let's announce a spinoff like the same that same weekend. And it's kind of like, <laughs> why the fuck would you announce that after what you just did to the character? Yeah. Whatever. After, after what you just did to the audience, <laughs> those poor unsuspecting anything, moviegoers. If there's anything that current modern superhero movies have taught us is that fans will eat up just the most ridiculous garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they could pander to anybody. Like, somebody was asking me, he's like, hey, are you excited for the new Venom movie with Carnage? I'm like, no, not at all. They're like, what, really? Why? Venom was great. And I was like, no. No. <laughs> no, it's, I, I, I'm going to get into this, like, with my Venom video, but, but that's, it's that's just, my it's, next one working. Yeah. But it's it's definitely changed that the, the audience has definitely changed between what they um, – are just willing to just accept. Like, the amount of money that Venom made is kind of baffling compared to the quality of that movie. Yeah, which which is... And same with Suicide Squad. I just want... I just would love for fans to just have a little pride in themselves <laughs> and, like, in the movies and the fandoms that they're interested in. Yeah. Because, like, you could be a fan of the comics, you could be a fan of films... That doesn't necessarily mean that no matter what drivel they put in front of you as a comic book movie that you absolutely have to love and get a huge heart on for. Yeah. yeah. And you don't need to ride or die on any of it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Just, as we talked about with Justice League, just You it's guys, fine. it's a bad movie. movie. Let it go. Yeah, yeah. Just have some fucking self respect, yeah. nerds. Yes. Yes. Jeez. Yes. God damn it. I mean, I okay. I love Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought he did a great job as Eddie Brock. I thought Venom's look was cool, but the movie itself was just a hot, flaming circle of garbage. Yes. <laughs> okay. Not Venom. I look forward to hearing more about it on the next video of now, He's it was a symbiote. A shit show. He's not a metal. Oh, he's now we're getting into various he's, he's, biological he's senti- materials. He's sentient of... space goo. <laughs> <laughs> and that, space as jizz. we know, is um, more uh, viscous than uh, metal would be. So, <laughs> Okay. We digress. You probably edited this, yeah. man. Okay, so Reynolds starts becoming this big star. Um, everybody's like, ooh, Ryan Reynolds becomes the sexiest man alive on ooh, the cover. Uh, and, you ooh, know. Huh. Um that was the collective America was just like, uh, oh, mm, oh mm. <laughs> Canada has what? Oh, what? <laughs> um, oh, oh Canada. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, uh, so I'd Brothers... drink the syrup out of his maple wood. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> you started to see your reaction. Oh, my God. Look <laughs> 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 your face. <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, so Reynolds comes a huge star, and then Warner Brothers really wanted him for Green Lantern. And Reynolds asks uh, Fox if Deadpool was ever going to happen. And the the fallout of Origins Wolverine, they were like, no, not likely. Mm. So he jumped ship. This is after they're all like, oh, hey, we might do a spinoff. Yeah. yeah. They're just like, it's like one of those things, this tactic to see if like, oh, they're going to make a Deadpool movie? I should go see Origins Wolverine. Like, yeah. Mm. Like that's the their their yeah, slide, idea of it. Sons of bitches. And they happen all the time. They, they always say, announce a sequel before the movie comes out to be like, oh, it's that good? No. <laughs> to make, yeah, they make you go see the prequel by announcing a sequel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, guess um, I wonder if this is going to be two movies, I better go see the first oh, one. God damn it. <sighs> um, later that year, Zombieland comes out, and that's written by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. Um, and they balance this, they had a perfect balance of comedy, horror, and drama. And there was a lot of breaking of the fourth wall, which is Deadpool, Mm -hmm. right? Right. And it was such a big hit that Fox was like, okay, actually, maybe there is some possibility here. So they hire those two guys to write Deadpool in in January of 2010. 
Meanwhile, Ryan Reynolds went off to do the Green Lantern movie, and he was like, mm-hmm. fuck, you guys thought it was never going to happen. Exactly. God so, damn it. So this is all happening while he's making <laughs> Green Lantern. Reese and Warnick, they instantly understood the tone, and they like loved the idea that they get a play around in the, um, the X-Men universe. And from the start, they always wanted Colossus because he's only in the t- two of the movies, yeah. and he's hardly in them. Um, and it's just... To suit up scene. Oh, he's in the third one, too. Now, what kind yeah. of metal would you say Colossus is made out of? Mm-hmm. Is he it's, it's, it's... an alloy of vibranium and adamantium, do you suppose? I don't know, because he, his is more of like a natural Skin. steel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's not something. I mean, you can't mine Colossus. You, know? <laughs> you can mine vibranium and adamantium. Mm-hmm. But you can't mine Colossus. <laughs> mm. Mm, give me some time. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Uh... <laughs> um, so it's, and he's just kind of like he was so worthless in the other movies and uh, it's, it's kind of the pointless. Same, it's the same thing we talked about before. I was like, what do, what do, what do fans want to see? They want to see Colossus and they want to see him like turn into the metal Colossus. All right, let's do that one cool scene in next two and then just f- fuck all after all that. Yeah. He's, 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 oh, he's, he is in the third one now that I think about it. Yes. He but, is. But they like it's not like his character. He is Russian. Um, yeah. And so they were like, we want to just – do our own version of Colossus, and he, in the comics, he's very like pretty straightforward. And so they they wanted him to be a, they they knew that it would be a good foil to Deadpool and all his craziness, his shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans. he'd be a good tin foil to his. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is he made out of tin foil? <laughs> very hard tin foil. This is the hardest tin foil. Yeah. Just regrowing tin just foil. Someone just like crumpled it into a just ball and smushed it on him. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty powerful. Well, I mean, let's hope you don't have any fillings if you're his oral lover. <laughs> <laughs> this is just metal jokes now. It's just metal talk. I don't know what I'm saying. All metal. If All he turns day. off his metal, can he walk through a metal detector? Oh, that's a great question. Or does it come from inside him? Yeah. Like, is it scales like a dragon scale? Like it pops out? Or does it grow like a fungus? <laughs> like... Yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> okay. So in October of 2010, uh, their <laughs> script leaks to the internet, and surprisingly, 70%. So the movie, the, the movie we're talking about today came out in 2016. This was one from 2010, and like 70% of it is just like the, the final film. Oh yes. wow! The freeway framing device which kind of allows them to have one long action scene yeah. <laughs> that mm-hmm. they can keep going back to. Um, to Pinder, the cab driver, which I just learned that that is an homage to a friend of Reynolds in elementary school. Aww. Vanessa and Wade's banter, um, Wade's cancer, um, the torturing to release his ex-gene, although they don't really call it that, the taunting of Francis's name mm-hmm. throughout the movie. And the final showdown, which in the script, but they don't say this outright, is a helicarrier. Mm. Um, mm. So that's what they were fighting on top of, and that falls over. Um, and then, like, so many of the jokes, like the T-Rex arms, everyone <laughs> fears the T-Rex or whatever. <laughs> when his wrists are broken. Oh, um, my God. My favorite joke was when they're talking about his face. He's like, you look like Freddy Krueger. What is a fucked a topographical, face fucked a topographical <laughs> map of Utah? Yeah. Yeah. And then we all like cricked our heads and said, "Oh yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, yeah. it's Bryce Canyon, <laughs> Arches National Arches, Park. Arches, yeah. <laughs> um, even the Hugh Jackman mask at the end was in that in this script. Ah, um, but um, the script was much bigger. It had a lot of action sequences and way more villains. And then the script was also a lot more crass, but the internet loves the script. It has this great reception. Um, Cinema Blend said that if they made that movie, Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds would become nothing short of iconic. And kind of true. Like he's really became huge, way bigger than he was before. And mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and that that character just goes perfectly with him to he's the point. He's got his own gin now. I mean, he's like <laughs> living the big life. But like, he owns a cell company, a cell service company. Yeah, Mint Mobile. Does. Mint Mobile. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Um, but it, to the point where it was kind of like, why the hell did they choose him to do uh, Detective Pikachu? 
because it was kind of like mm-hmm. it's Deadpool's voice. Yeah. <laughs> like this is kind of weird. It's too like he can't he can't not be Deadpool almost. Yeah. yeah. Like and that was kind of watching Detective Pikachu was kind of like this is just PG Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> like, Deadpool Pikachu. Yeah. Pika Pikapool. Pikapool. <laughs> Pikapool. So is Ryan Reynolds a mogul now? Like can we call him a mogul? Yeah, I think so. He also Damn. owned him and um uh what's his name from Always Sunny bought a Rob McElhenney? Yeah, they bought a a soccer team? What? Or something like that? Jesus. Yeah, but, wait, him, what? And, him and Rob, uh, how do you say his name? McElhinney. Uh Made an unusual investment. They bought a struggling Welsh soccer team, Wrexham AFC. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Not Richmond. Not Richmond, yeah. <laughs> Are they Ted Lasso's now? <laughs> yeah, oh apparently. my God. They're the, they're the... I'd watch that show. I'd, ro- I'd watch Rob McElhinney and Ryan Reynolds be <laughs> bad Ted Lasso's. <laughs> That'd be yeah. funny. Oh, that would I'm be so... funny as shit. Okay, so <laughs> even though the script leaks and it had a great reception. Leaked, air um, quotes. Do you think that was on purpose? Mm, I don't know about th- this one. We're going to talk about a m- bigger leak later. Okay. Um, it takes, it still took another six months before Fox decides to hire a director to actually get this ball rolling. And they chose Tim Miller, who was a VFX supervisor and co-founder at Blur Studio which mostly just did uh, video game cutscenes, And hmm. they recently just did one call uh, for DC Universe Online that Fox was kind of impressed by and were like, I think he could do this. And But he'd been doing visual effects stuff for years, including um, probably one of the biggest ones. He did the opening sequence to uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the Fincher version. Oh, yeah. That crazy opening sequence with all the oil and stuff like that. The ink with the immigration song. Anyway, so this was going to be his first first feature film. And uh, so it was like Deadpool was actually happening. And then Green Lantern comes out. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Um, Releases June of 2011. Again, also its own shit show. It's a terrible movie. It's garbage. Even, Even just the other day... Martin Campbell, the director of it, said, "Yeah, I shouldn't have made that movie." <laughs> he was like, "I don't, I don't, I, I don't like superhero movies. I don't know why I did it." That's funny. And then he looked at his bank account and went, "Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. that's why I did it." <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'll, I good. will go ahead and say though that Mark Strong as Sinestro was a really good casting choice. Well, Mark Strong as anything is a good casting choice. I <laughs> that, mean, yeah, okay, listen. you're right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just uh, like this movie is a hot pile of garbage. Cast Mark Strong; he'll pull it out. Yeah, yeah. but still. Stupid movie. Yeah, very I mean, stupid. even Mark's like his Sinestro was like, I just, hey, what a yellow ring? I'm just gonna put this on. Like, he had no motivation behind it. Stupid. Anyway, true. We're not gonna focus on Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but maybe I bet next Ryan time. Reynolds was like, Fuck. so the movie's out. terrible, <laughs> and Fox suddenly goes, Ryan Reynolds can't lead a superhero movie. <gasps> and how uh, dare they? So they shelve Deadpool again. They're like, okay, never mind. Moving on. And uh, and he even makes fun of that movie all the time. He just did a um, Reynolds just did a like a live tweeting of the movie <laughs> for the first time. It was like the first time <laughs> he ever watched it. He did not have a good experience on that one. Mm-hmm. Um, so Reynolds, Reese, and Warnick continue tightening their screenplay for Deadpool, and then they turn in their newest draft the same day as the Avengers um, hits theaters, May fourth, two thousand twelve. So in their mind, they're like, this is a great time to parody superhero films because this is just going to get bigger and it's just going to explode. So like, this is the perfect time. But every other studio, including Fox, on the other hand, was like, oh, team up films. That's what, that's the end thing. Like, we got to make a universe, a film of universe. And Mm -hmm. they wanted, they would rather introduce Deadpool that way. That's exactly what they did with Origin. Yeah, yeah. they already did that. <laughs> it was a whole team up of all those soldiers. Whatever. I don't understand how all these companies think that they're like, we got to make a universe of movies. And it's just like, yeah, but the way you make a universe of movies is by making one movie at a time, one you guys. At a time. Yeah. You don't fucking start with the team up movie. Yes. DC, <laughs> you <laughs> pieces of shit. God. And you don't even like them. I don't even. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, so a very frustrated Tim Miller takes his script to his friends, David Fincher. This is why I think he took his script and went home. 
<laughs> no. No, no, no. No, no. Dude, you better go. Fuck you guys. Because it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, he was like, this is a good script, right? And so he takes it to David Fincher and uh, and James Cameron, two of the biggest film hitters. directors. Yeah. yeah. And James Cameron practically before the Disney buyout was essentially just – Running Fox, like he Wait. could just—I mean, he could do whatever the fuck he wanted after, yeah. after, after making um, Titanic and mm. uh, Avatar. He was just—I can do whatever the fuck I want. Give me all the money you have. Yeah, <laughs> and so they were just like in, they would do anything to keep James Cameron around. Yeah. When you said before the Disney buyout, I literally was like, "Oh, does Disney own James Cameron?" <laughs> He just bought James Cameron. They they bought his submersibles. I mean, he's gonna be making Avatar movies till he dies. So pretty much, yeah, mm-hmm. right. Well, like, they have a collaboration because there's the world of Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom in Florida. It's all coming together. It's all gonna be owned by Disney at one mm-hmm. point. Yes, Disney We're owns gonna... my soul. <laughs> We're going to vote for our Disney president. <laughs> yeah. Better not be Bob Chapik. That guy is messing things up right now. <laughs> so, okay. many, so many hot opinions about yeah. Disney. Uh, okay. So Fincher and Cameron both fucking love the script. And they both individually went to Fox and were like, don't be stupid. Make this film. Yeah. Like, this will work. And Fox is like, oh. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, adamantium. They, all, uh, they, they just peed yeah. their pants. Like, okay, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Want. <laughs> yes, sir, Mister Avatar, sir. <laughs> and Mr. not Avatar. even, not even that. Like, um, and they were telling him, like, make it, keep it Reddit R. Like, it needs to be Reddit R. And on the sidelines, also, Hugh Jackman had been championing this movie from the start. And if you know anything about Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds, they're like the best of buds. Yeah. And they're constantly razzing each other. Like, cause oh, they, they like to pretend they, they don't just, like each other. They're just in love know. with each other. Yes. Um, so somewhere in 2012, 2013, after all this pressure, Tom Rothman, head of Fox, uh, gave Miller and Reynolds a small budget Somewhere around $200,000, maybe less, plus or minus, um, to make a proof of concept. Oh, I was going to say, like, to make <laughs> wait the, for the, the movie? movie? <laughs> like, he, just, the like, he just, like, pulls his pockets out. He's like, mm, I got my pockets, some pennies. I'm trying to see what's in the change, and, and the couch is there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, go, to, go okay, check to the make cup a proof holder. concept. Okay. Go check the cup holder in my car. I think I might have a couple quarters in there. Uh, Cameron was just sitting on that couch. I'm sure he dropped a, <laughs> yeah, a sure million he, or yeah. two. <laughs> he dropped a fat wad in that in the couch, those couch cushions. <laughs> James Cameron prints his own money with his face on it, and it still counts. No, it's got all nappy on him. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the uh, those are the new Disney dollars. <laughs> yeah. Don't, oh, guys, don't we get started on Disney dollars? I went down a deep rabbit hole about and those, we're, and we're not going there. <laughs> yeah. That's for our next our next next podcast, podcast. the Disney Dish. <laughs> I would dish and on Disney. I would one hundred percent be on that podcast. <laughs> I will not be on that podcast with you, sir. Disney, give us money. <laughs> Uh, shout out to uh, the commenter on our YouTube channel that did uh, said that we're, he's not Disney, but he'll give us money. <laughs> That's so oh, funny. Oh, fuck yeah, that guy. That's awesome. You know what? We don't even need Disney's money. We got that guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, okay. So they make this proof of concept. It's made completely with CGI. It's a two-minute short straight out of the screenplay. I think you showed me that a while, like a long time ago. I'm so sure it's pretty... Very similar to the yeah. movie. Oh, did you watch like, it? Did you watch it again for preparation? I, I yes, I did. Okay. I was not going to fail you again because <laughs> after I after uh, the I mean, the brilliant episode that that Independence Day was, I felt really stupid that I didn't watch it. <laughs> so I went home and I watched it, and God damn it, that movie's not great. <laughs> it is. It it's, is great. I know you're talking about that that Jeff Goldblum swagger though. Even oh. I was just like, <laughs> oh. you like getting sweat a little sweaty, oh. getting sweaty there. <laughs> Um, so that short, and if you guys look it up, um, uh, if you just search Deadpool test footage, it'll come right up. Uh, it's pretty much just like the film, um, and just like that film uh, in the the real film, almost all of that scene is CGI, other than what's taking place inside. The... I was gonna say a lot of the shots. I was like, is that just from the movie? Like, do they just reuse that same? Yeah, shot? Pr- like pretty much, huh. like. Like that whole Clever. everything that t- takes place outside of the car is CGI, which is crazy impressive. That is that. Oh yeah. yeah. 
because there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. Um, and Independence Day like, says that they've got like 36,000 visual effects. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. whatever. All that yeah. was in one scene of Deadpool. So Dude. this is so this is the genius of Tim Miller because he's he's done this. This is his bread and butter is visual effects. He just knew how to make a really cheap action sequence and it looks flawless. Um but that that whole trailer, it's it's the almost the same jokes. Uh, rich Corinthian leather, him sitting on the thing, red suit, suit brown it's pants, fairly yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. So yes, the high Tom was meant for Tom Rothman, who said no. Oh, that piece of shit. Oh. And then then he leaves the studio. Now Tom Ro- Tom Rothman. <laughs> no, goodbye. This <laughs> yeah. is the final decision I will make before leaving forever. Yeah, it's like the last thing he writes down. They're like, fuck, we couldn't have waited like four seconds until he left forever and showed yeah. it to the next guy. So um, Tom Rothman, which rumoredly just didn't care about comic books at all, and so he, to him, the X Men universe was just a way to make money. Um, and so he didn't give a shit what they were doing with it. So he didn't care yeah. that like what that that video proved. And uh, but he leaves the studio and his replacement also didn't care for it. Oh. So the big problem that they have is that there's nothing. They're hiring to compa- <laughs> yeah. There's nothing to <laughs> compare Deadpool to. There's nothing like Deadpool. There was nothing that had like a big superhero action film that was breaking the fourth wall that was also Reddit R that was Wait, leaned on comedy. Zombie Land. Yeah, but that wasn't necessarily a comic book though. Yeah, but yeah. still. Um yes. You could you could point to different things that had different aspects of, of it. Um but studios freak out because they they basically that's why they always like we need to do reshoots we need to change things because this worked in the past right yeah. right and so they look at Deadpool and they're like I have nothing nothing to compare this to that will yeah. work in the past yeah um, they don't like a, they don't like taking a lot of risks yes exactly yeah. and so they have no idea if it would be a success hmm. and so they don't want to put a shit ton of money towards it two years go by no movement Fox toyed with the idea of doing it. Uh, as PG-13, which was a red line for Reynolds, Miller, Reese, and Warnick. So then in August of 2014, that test footage we just watched leaked. Who leaked it remains a mystery, but Reynolds... Wink, 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 Yeah, the four of those guys, um, uh, Reynolds likes to joke constantly about the leak, and he, he did a trailer for the the anniversary of the leak and stuff like that. <laughs> and <laughs> um, and they say that it's one, it was going to be one of those four guys. Mm. And it's most likely Reynolds. He con- constantly winks, kind of makes c- some comments that make it sound like it's him. He said like once, uh, uh, it, it was like there's a 70% chance it was me. Like <laughs> stuff like that. Um, those are pretty high odds. Right. But because this happens... The internet blows up. People love it. Like mm-hmm. this was exactly what Deadpool should be. Like that that sequence, um, and uh, like the call the calls all like start immediately. And a month later, Fox finally just goes, "Okay," pulls the four guys in and goes, "Okay, you have to cut your budget by six to eight million in the next forty eight hours." Damn. And then we'll greenlight your movie. Even after all that internet hype? Right. Even after, like, <laughs> they're just like, we still don't know if this is going to be successful. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could make the, the, the uh, argument that the internet is a terrible gauge for a lot of reasons. Yes. Um, Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim had a huge showing on the internet and Comic-Con and kind of bombed. And uh, Come so, on, nerds, put your dollars where your mouth is, you yeah, nerds. Instead of, instead of on a bunch of hate comments. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird because it's also like seven, eight million. Fox, just, do, get, just ask, ask Cameron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look in that couch cushion. We already yeah. talked about this. <laughs> Cameron was like, what, six, seven, eight million? Oh, yeah, one sec. Um, um, <laughs> can I Venmo, Venmo he's, you? Yeah. He's got a George Costanza wallet just yeah, full like, of... Oh, here, just take this. <laughs> Avatar bucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's Cameron cash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one dollar uh, bill's got an T-800 on it. <laughs> you can only spend it in Hollywood. That's um, fucking amazing. I want those now. Cameron cash. That's amazing. <laughs> 
So they go, they run off and they're like, Hurley start just cutting as much as stuff that they can. And mostly action moments like that, that freeway chase is much longer. There's like a whole motor, motorcycle portion of it. Um, and they, they cut all that. They take all those villains we talked about, all the henchmen, and condense it into one, which was Angel Dust, played by um, Gina Carano, and then trim down the final battle. And this is where that that moment where Deadpool forgets his bag of guns mm. comes from. That's a joke about them cutting the jet because it was going to be him just doing a whole bunch of shit with all these different guns. Uh. And then they were like, well, let's just have him forget the bag and then cut all that shit. <laughs> that's – see, that's clever problem solving. And <laughs> right? it fit the character and it fit the story and it yeah. was funny. It was a good moment, right? It was right? a good moment. Because <laughs> you always see the scenes where they're all suiting up. And right. then, like, he just forgets all that. It. Right. It's a tooling up montage and he's like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. So then it happened. 20th Century Fox finally greenlit Deadpool. Woo. Um, Fox brings on Simon Kinberg as a producer. He was kind of uh, Fox's current Marvel guru. He was kind of uh, producing all the X-Men movies. Um, and then so once he got on, things really start rolling. Production starts in March of 2015. Goes pretty well uh, all through production. The, the question still remained if Deadpool would be R-rated. And in April... Fox officially made it PG-13. And then cue the fan outrage. Like, oh, yeah. Just like, what the fuck? Like, that's not what Deadpool should be. And, yeah. and Reynolds starts downplaying the decision, saying, like, it's still going to be good, blah, 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 blah. And this was all just a joke. This was all a fake out. And then there was a video of um, oh, Ryan Reynolds being interviewed by Mario Lopez and going, it's still going to be good. It's still going to be good. And then Deadpool kills Mario Lopez. <laughs> and then it's like, of course, it's going to fucking be uh, Reddit R. And so <laughs> it was all just a ploy. So it was always going to be Reddit R when they greenlit it. Nice. Um, so they were just playing with fans. Um, that's, which, how you, that's how you fuck with them. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but during all of this, um, the writers, uh, screenwriters don't aren't generally on set for films. Because you have to pay them while they're there. And Fox was like, no, they, they can't be there. <laughs> so Reynolds you uh, paid out of his own pocket for both of the writers to be there. And, oh, what a good guy. Right? <laughs> yes. What and a good dude. This allowed them to constantly rewrite jokes. And they, they just came up, just threw everything out all the time, just constant alternatives. Um for jokes and uh, which made editing kind of a, a bitch because they I was going like, to say, and the script supervisor <laughs> was furious. Yeah, this poor woman, and I bet you it was a woman, was just like, just threw up her Why notebook in the air. Why am I even fucking here? <laughs> Tore up her papers, chucked it, and just stormed out. What the fuck is adamantium? <laughs> yeah. Why do I? Why do I even do this fucking job? <laughs> Writing in alt lines like in furious tiny pencil. I think this is what page we're on. I don't even know anymore. Um, but it it made like editing really hard because they had to sit there and choose which ones they yeah like like the best. But even still, because he wears a mask most of the time, it allowed them to constantly add lines if they wanted to or work mm. better lines. That's why some of the times it, it does look like his face is not. His jaw is not moving along with what he's saying. Yeah. There are definitely times in that movie where you can tell that he's doing like a booth read. Like it's not like a yeah, yeah. It it's not like the, an on set read. It doesn't yeah. have like the the quality of like yeah. an on set microphone like ADR, and yeah. it and the like energy of being on set. It yeah. sounds like ADR. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, production wrapped on May 29th. Uh, even though the budget was low, Fox again still didn't want to spend that much on advertising. So Reynolds God, who the fuck was running. This is why Disney had to buy Fox. They were like, yeah. you're making perpetually bad choices, obviously. Constantly. Well, yeah, if you look at all the Let X the grown movies, ups handle this. If you look up all the if you look at all the X-Men movies up to that point, they're just like, okay, yeah, like they mm-hmm. and then like when something like Deadpool comes along and they're still just like, Well, no, like just still just do it like this, do it like this, and then when it comes big, they're like, Oh. We knew that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we knew what we were doing. Hindsight's yeah. totally twenty twenty. We, yeah. I mean, we knew it. We know it was gonna be great. Mm-hmm. Um, so this required Reynolds to get creative, and so he worked with the Fox marketing chief directly to come up with viral videos. Put it on the internet. You don't have to pay for. Oh anything, yeah, right? I remember these. Yeah, these were and huge. They ranged so wildly. Like, um, 
<laughs> Betty White watching it, giving it a review. Uh-huh. Um, that one where he's like hanging out with the other X Men, but they're all kids in Halloween costumes. Uh, the testicular one where he's on the, cancer, like oh, yeah. the bearskin rug one, right? Isn't bearskin. There, like... That's when he like revealed his photo yeah. of, in his costume. Um, Australia Day. Uh, just yeah. this constant, just wacky videos that they were just doing, and it was just like everybody was just loving it and eating it up. And so. 13 years in the making, Deadpool finally released on February 12th, 2016, Valentine's weekend. (laughs) Um, 85% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I think is pretty good. Yeah. Um, Guesses on its opening weekend gross. A hundred something million. (sighs) 230 million. I don't Jesus. Know. <laughs> uh, 132 open yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's right, because I remember because I watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it makes a total of. I was of... just giving Ryan Reynolds the benefit. That was Canadian okay. dollars. Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> my Cameron, that was in Canadian. Cameron's cash. <laughs> that was in Cameron cash. So, <laughs> you know, if you carry carry the two, subtract 70 minus subtract 100. The I, was, I was actually yeah. right on, you know. So. Divide by xenomorphs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Multiply by Sarah Connor <laughs> or a Connor child. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so awesome. uh, total in the U.S., 363 million worldwide total. Mm, seven. Seven dollars. <laughs> seven seven hundred million. Bucks. 782 oh. million Ooh. on a budget of? Uh, 200,000. Oh, wait, no, that was the <laughs> test for <footage. laughs> that was, it. That was the couch cushion money. 80 million. Uh, uh, 75 million. 58 million oh, damn. Uh, became not only the number one X-Men film in gross, but the second highest grossing R-rated film of all time. Damn. Um, what's the first? Still is. What's the first highest? Uh, Passion of the Christ. Oh, <laughs> that's right. They do make a joke Fart about sound. that in uh, Deadpool 2. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Uh, and one could um, make the argument that because of Deadpool, Fox took an even bigger gamble with Logan, mm. um, continuing the nonsense continuity of those movies. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, Ian is holding back a lot of rage right now. I, I, just, I, I love X. I loved X-Men when I was growing up. I just, the movies are just so fucking stupid. Okay. Deadpool 2. Um, Tim Miller did not direct it. Um, he wanted to make a big action sequel and Reynolds wanted to continue making like a raunchy comedy, um, style and Miller didn't like the amount of creative control that Reynolds increased on a uh, Deadpool two. And so he was like, good luck. I'm, this is, this is clearly not, I'm not going to be involved in this vision. So he left. Right. Um, Deadpool two. Two. De- 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 it was a Swedish two. movie. <laughs> uh, made almost a small independent Swedish film, Deadpool 2. <laughs> it almost made the exact same amount of money, um, but with twice the budget. Um, they had sequel ideas, then Disney bought uh, 20th Century Fox. Deadpool 3 is officially happening, confirmed by both Reynolds and Kevin Feige. And Disney. Oh, shit. Um, and it will maintain a Reddit R, will take place in the MCU, and currently being written by Wendy and Lizzie Molyneux from <gasps> Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers! Yes. So puns confirmed. Oh, yes. The <laughs> Hell work, yes. The pun work is going to be on point. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so stoked for those puns. <laughs> okay. So YouTube comments. Yes. No. Um, no. So now listen. All right. <clears throat> These ones, uh, I, I had fun reading through them, but a lot of them, a lot of them were the same. Like, Reynolds is a great guy for paying the writers. Like, yeah, okay, we mm-hmm. get it. He's a cool dude. And uh, like, I really <laughs> like this movie. Green Lantern wasn't that bad, or Green Lantern was really bad. Like, that's what a lot of these comments were. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, just some of them, I'm just going to quick fire some of these that I thought were fun. I loved how Deadpool was following Hello, Qu- Hello Kitty on Twitter. I don't know that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but then I watched the, watch the movie as as Depender's driving away and he gets rear-ended with his cousin or uh-huh. whatever is in the backseat. One of the bags that Deadpool left in the car was a Hello Kitty backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you see it when he's, yeah, yeah. When he's suiting up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, another comment. I took Isn't my, his watch? His watch is Adventure, Adventure Time. Adventure Time. Yeah. That's right. I took my wife to Deadpool on Valentine's Day. Told her <laughs> it was a love story slash rom-com with Ryan Reynolds. She loved it. 
and made me watch Fifty Shades the next year. Uh, <laughs> that was her revenge. A year she plotted that revenge for a full ass year. Um, what? That's so funny because there's a line literally in the movie, and he was like, "He's like, I know what you're thinking right now." It's like my girlfriend is like. I thought this was this a superhero, superhero movie, movie, but they turned that man into a fucking kebab. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of comments like this, though. Blade was the first successful Marvel movie. It was also <laughs> rated R. So you question yes, as, yes. As, as, to, uh, as to could it be done? Yes, it could. Nearly 20 years earlier. Here's the thing, though. I remember watching Blade. Never in my mind, you know, as a kid, did I ever think like, oh, this is a comic book movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, not. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't. He, he doesn't scream superhero. He just screams. Uh, he's a uh, vampire. A vampire, vampire killer. Yeah, because yeah, uh, you could take any average Joe who has no knowledge of comic books or Blade and his history in comic books. You could take him to that movie at that time, and they would have just thought it's a action yeah. vampire movie. Yeah, I mean, it was a comic book movie before there were comic book movies, but comic book movies, I think, in the way that we look at them now didn't start until X-Men. Yeah, which was the next one. And again, Blade, I, we've been through this so many times, Blade was a mild hit. It was Reddit R. It was about vampires. Not everybody was screaming for it. It just happened. It was fine. Then X-Men came out. It was a big <laughs> hit. Then Spider-Man came out, and it was enormous. And that's what kicked it all off. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, moving on. God, I I know. There was, and there, were, there was a ton there was a ton in there like that but again it's just screaming to the jungle like, mm-hmm. yeah. love the video you pretty much spoke my mind about the film <laughs> I spoke his mind about the history of it <laughs> right. yeah. he's like that's exactly that's a, all the things oh, I was thinking was, of oh, about how comment. it was so hard to make those, Deadpool those are all the things I read <laughs> people seem to not really get the concept that we're not talking about whether or not this movie is good or bad Yes, we're talking about the troubled production yes no it, they, they make that comment before they even watch it because it's called what the fuck happened with Deadpool yeah and, and so they instantly go nothing it was great yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah exactly so with that in mind, one of the last comments I had, every time I see a WTF happen to this movie about a massively successful movie, it makes me think of all the lesser known movies that really deserve the attention and would make a much more interesting subject, which are truly in the vein of the name of your series. Instead of restating well-covered stories about extremely famous films, I guess people love famous things and sarcastic statements uh, with the word fuck implied. Okay, so the fuck <laughs> part is not my fault, but I kind of, I, I understand the point. That's kind of interesting, but... I mean, who wants to watch the video? The uh, little little children was a, was a shit show. Yeah. <laughs> making little children uh, is that what it's called? Little women. Little, little women. women. Yeah. Little women. Li- making little women yeah. was a shit show. I not. I'm um, sorry. Little women that was person... directed by a woman, so it probably went great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's probably, probably exactly. absolutely it's probably flawless. My, my point is is like said commenter like. Nobody's going to click on that. I'm sorry. Like, that's why yeah. we rather do this. At, like, if if Little Women was a shit show, we would do it as yeah. this podcast. You're more likely to listen to it, but not a video. And the videos are, are, are the ones that are the major shit shows. And they just happen to be always big budget movies because yeah. the more money you throw at it, the bigger problems. There's you're more on have. the line. There's more egos involved. The yeah. stories are more fantastical. Yeah. There's more like big shenanigans that can happen. Yeah. Yeah. So while I I, I uh, understand the point, um, I won't hear it and I won't respond. To <laughs> no, no, I just I, I I would say that it's just some people um, don't hear all the stories because there are a lot of yeah. stuff that I I try to dig up that maybe people did not hear about. Uh, <laughs> all right, mm-hmm. I appreciate the comment though. Yes. Um, Cyclops doesn't shoot lasers out of his <laughs> eyes. The beam is concussive, not hot. <laughs> His eyes are portals to what has become, what has known to be called the, quote, punch dimension. What in the actual sweet mercy? Lord, Lord Jesus. Okay. So gonna... There's comment number one. Comment so, number two. No, 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 wait, 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 is this just, more laser shit? I okay. just can't. Okay. Cyclops can't shoot lasers. He opens portals to the punch dimension. Jesus the Christ. punch dimension? Yeah. Like... Like Hawaiian punch, like it's red. It's because it's Hawaiian punch. The Hawaiian punch. Yeah, dimension. that's where the Kool Aid Man that's comes where from. The oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's like, yeah. <laughs> the Kool Aid Man. Opens his eye. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Kool Aid Man just busts through a fucking wall. A punch dimension. Get the it's fuck out of here. It's not hot. They're not lasers. Like, 
Okay. All right. <laughs> sir, sir, I would like to see your certification that proves that you are a laser scientist. Yeah. Of any kind. We're getting our certifications for Marvel metallurgy. For metallurgy. Marvelurgy. Um, are there more laser comment? Those are the only two okay. that I saw. Okay. So, okay. So this is my original statement. With katanas in his forearms and the ability to teleport and shoot lasers like Cyclops, the first live action version of Deadpool couldn't be further from the comics. So in their mind, I should have written with katanas in his forearms and the ability to teleport and open open portals to another dimension to shoot concussive blasts like Cyclops. <laughs> Yeah. And then and then everyone would have been like, what the fuck are you actually talking about? Yeah, I know, but then these How, two these two commenters would have just come in their pants right then. Like, right. he got it right. Oh god, he knows it's concussive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he doesn't like brevity. Yeah. yeah. Say concussive again, yeah. Say it again. Yeah. Concussive. More like cumcussive. Yeah. What? <laughs> Oh God! Oh my Lord! Nerds. That's also, the thing. Is but that... also, you know what? Like that's stupid. Sorry, I don't know what that is. I don't know what the punch dimension is. There's gonna be a movie about it. Like that's on the horizon. Like it's gonna be like Cyclops and the Punch Dimension or whatever. Yeah. Some bullshit. Like it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna learn about it in five years when they make that stupid bullshit movie. But I'm mad about it right when, now. Yeah. When Cyclops comes into the MCU, it better have him at one point. Just go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a Disney. <laughs> Plus series. <laughs> Cyclops and the Kool-Aid the, guy. The original Kool-Aid man, <laughs> the Cyclops. The ultimate crossover. I oh, saw my the, God. I, so I, I'm a comic book fan, right? But oh. I, don't, I don't read them religiously, right? Yeah. So, like, I had no idea about this. And so when I heard this, I was like, really? They're not lasers? <laughs> like, am I that like casual of a comic book fan. No, I, I mean, know? I would say you're pretty fucking nerdy and you knew that they were, and you didn't know they weren't lasers. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's, it just goes back to bitching about whether it's antimantium or, yeah. or steel or Wait, whatever. Yeah. Who did gives we, a shit? Did yeah. we confirm though the, the concussive nature of his portal eye blasts? Like, is that like, did you look it up? Did we, no, did we because like I'm not a, because that? I, no, because I'm not a fucking psychopath. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair. I don't want that in my search I mean, history. I mean, some jackass that took the time to write that out clearly knew. Yeah, it's true. Let's see. A, Unless like, they're just completely like, trolling everyone. Are they everyone. just trolling us? Like, what's happening? Did we did we Wikipedia this? I need to know. I just... So it's uh, even in the comic books, it's still even just a theory. <laughs> the, no, wait, nobody has traveled through his eyes no to go to the portal. The and this dimension? article I found was as recent as April 14th, 2020. So they're like, <laughs> the title is from Comic Book Report, Cyclops' Powers and the Weird Punch Dimension Theory Explained. So it's, it's just, it's in, a the, theory? in the comic books, it's still just a goddamn theory. These idiots. These this people are me, full of shit. This makes me mad. So that's not true. It's not true. It's a theory. So the canon is that he absorbs... He makes them himself. He absorbs to shoot yeah. solar energy. Mother fucking lasers <laughs> from his eyeballs. He's basically the Tesla tiles of X Men, where he absorbs the solar energy. He's a solar panel, uh, you yeah. guys. <laughs> a malfunctioning solar he, panel. Yeah. Well, you know, like the this, 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 the punch, like so everyone's like, he's oh, basically to... a kid with a magnifying glass <laughs> over a pile of ants. Exactly. That's what's happening. Get out of here with your punch dimension bullshit, you nerds. Comic book report. So yeah, so yeah, these guys. It's actually a punch. Actually, it's not jackass. <laughs> yeah, I should comment. Back. It's solar power. You should you should totally get in get in a comments war with some neck beards. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, oh, so I thought this one was actually kind of funny. LMFAO. Everyone forgot about Spawn and Blade being R-rated before Deadpool. Then someone replied, said Spawn was PG-13 in Holland. <laughs> they responded uh, actually Spawn was a PG-13 in Holland yeah. also I love the movie Deadpool 2 <laughs> that's one of my very most favorite and, films I, I like what, listening to the podcast it was a poop shoe <laughs> <laughs> oh, best man. number one best podcast <laughs> but again mild hits <laughs> I, no, nobody liked Spawn. Yeah, Spawn was garbage. <laughs> yeah, but also, like, and I'm pretty sure it was PG-13. You're also right, though, that like those movies were made at the time where 
people were making movies based on IP that existed, but PG-13. no one, but no one was like making a big fucking deal about it. They kind of almost didn't want to highlight it because they were like, we don't want people to think we're running out of ideas over here. Well, and the same thing. And so they just they didn't say like Blade based on a comic book. Like they're just like, we made a cool ass vampire movie. Come see it. Yeah, yeah. I think and comic books weren't they were still considered s- sub. <clears throat> Uh, culture, yeah. subculture. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it wasn't it wasn't in the in the mainstream's eye. You know, like back in the back in the early two thousands, you would never see Thor walking around Disneyland. People would be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> you know, that, that guy from that Incredible Hulk episode, right? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there was there's a few more, but like, uh, oh, this is, I really like this one. You really suck, man. I ended up watching too many of these when I should be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you for my bad decisions. <laughs> and then they put a heart at the end of it. So it's like, all right. Aww, cool. <laughs> yep. Fuck oh, you forever. Love this one, you, here, dude. Here's, here's another one that I really liked. You maintain a good script with interesting information peppered throughout, and your video editing is perfectly timed and quite easy to watch. Well done, sir. Well done. Aw, yeah. You. I do put a lot of work in. Yeah, in, and then the, into all of that. Yeah. Into the poop shoe. Oh. <laughs> the poop shoe. <laughs> yeah. The world. Uh, yeah. Anyway, just more blade stuff. Got a well, lot of blade stands and right <clears throat> and uh, Green Lantern stands and uh, Punch Dimension punch stands dimension. all up in your <laughs> all up in your fucking comment section. <laughs> uh, Deadpool was it worth it? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. I think so. I, I worry that I don't know why I worry about this, but I worry that Ryan Reynolds kind of typecast himself as just Wade Wilson or as just like a, a Deadpool character. Oh yeah, yeah like, even when I was watching the trailer yeah. for Free Guy, I was like. His, his, he sounds and his and his inflection is just like Deadpool. Yeah, and, and Pikachu. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's what we were saying. Like he's he can't. It's it's so iconic now, and it's kind of like his. I feel like it's like his sense of humor, and so it's yeah, just sort it's of just like him. how he yeah. Yeah. talks and how he tells jokes and what he finds funny. And so it is like I think it is hard. It's going to be hard for him to kind of break out of that. Yeah, but he seems to like it, and you know now he's a mogul, so like he's, he doesn't give. give I a mean, shit. yeah, it, it, like it, owning I, sports teams and shit, and, and mint, mint mobile. <laughs> I, yeah. I think that yeah, that that's kind of an interesting point. He's a mobile mogul to make a make a character that you're so closely are like even even Robert Downey Jr. We already know that he is already a fantastic actor, and we don't expect to see him constantly being like verbal sparring in everything that he is in because we're expecting Tony Stark, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of interesting that he is so closely tied because if you watch anything else that he was big in, Van Wilder, that's Deadpool. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, that, I was just going to make that joke. Van, Deadpool yeah. is Van Wilder, the, merc- the mercenary. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, I mean like Waiting, like we watched Waiting and he was yeah. Deadpool in that. Yeah, exactly. Like he's, it's just him. That's a terrible movie, by the way. Don't waste your time. <laughs> but like he's like, it's just like if Deadpool was a waiter at a shitty restaurant. Yeah. and <laughs> In the 90s. So so it's just kind of, uh, that is kind of an interesting point that he is kind of, he shoehorned himself in there, yeah, and he needs to to do a lot of work to show that he has more range, because if I this mean, is, if he wants to, well, no, 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 I mean, like it might it might become a shtick, right? That like um yeah. like uh, Johnny Depp, everybody just got sick of him doing shticks, right? Right? Oh, he's yeah, being wacky, God. wearing yeah. another costume and being wacky, yeah. I'm and over so, it. um, even though we know he's a good actor, right? Like. So it, it's it's kind of interesting line. Yeah. But beyond that, Deadpool. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I think so. I feel like it had a lot of impact on pop culture. Deadpool's not like my favorite. Like I don't love it. It's not like my favorite movie of all time. There's some really funny jokes in there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that a lot of the stuff that it did with like combining humor and action and breaking the fourth wall and like all you know, it's like I said, it's it kind of the tone of it kind of started this comedy trend. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of like references to it in pop culture and stuff. Yeah. I remember being kind of surprised at how well they did the love story in it. Yeah. It's actually pretty cute and like yeah. uh, lovable. And and it's not one of those uh, countless movies that you're seeing. You're like, it's oh, these two are in love. Yeah. They're supposed to be in love and you're supposed to be fighting for this person. Okay, sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Like they actually like are really, really efficient at making that that oh, yeah. whole whole relationship seem really good. Um, so that, that's just kind of like an added bonus. And then I do think um, some of it, it just feels, it does feel very small scale. Um, 
and they constantly make jokes about that. Like when he goes to the X Mansion, <laughs> he goes, "Oh, it's a shame they couldn't afford another X Men here." You know, um, it's only the yeah. two of you. It's almost like the studio couldn't afford another X Men. Another X Men. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's so like that's fine. The villains are fine, whatever. But the uh, the jokes, just the shit with Colossus. That whole scene where he breaks his hands, just that whole so you good. you you stupid chrome cock gobbler and <laughs> shit like all that is so good so fucking funny um but i am one of the rare people that would say i think deadpool 2 is way better i loved deadpool 2 i think it, it it's a bigger movie it it's kind of what they were wanting to do for the first one where they had a big budget and they just went fucking for it yeah and it's just wall to wall with just awesome jokes and oh that's the one where he's like trying to start like his like fucked X-Force up justice team. league yeah, yeah his okay. x-force team and then they all I immediately do die, die. Yeah. oh i do okay yeah i remember that that was funny as shit i haven't <laughs> seen that movie in a long time but i do also remember crying in that movie and i yeah. remember you were like are you crying in deadpool too and first Take of all on sh- me. Sh- don't <laughs> but but like first of all again don't judge me i cry in every movie but yeah. like i remember yeah i do remember like liking deadpool too quite a bit yes but the you're i mean you're right about the love stories that you immediately they were so efficient at like these two people are super damaged but they get each other and they're in love and they just mm-hmm. like bum, 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 like go through like a whole year of and a they relationship literally go, bum, 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 bum. yeah like exactly <laughs> um and they go through a whole year of their relationship and you and like you completely believe that they're in love and there's some movies where like literally it's a romantic comedy where yeah. every single scene is supposed to be convincing you that these two people are in love and you're yeah. just like those uh, people, like, like oh. this is bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Like Fifty Shades of Grey. Like completely <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> anyway. Yes. So uh, I am, like I said, I love to and I love the idea of Deadpool playing around in the MCU. Yeah, like, for sure. That is going to be so much fun. I if guess they, I'm if just going to have do... to keep seeing these fucking movies, right, everybody. Well, <laughs> they can do it. And if they do it well... Like I said, if they let creative people be creative, because Kevin Feige has done a real good job. Yes. If they if they let him and Reynolds just run wild with it, it's you're, we're gonna st- we're gonna have a Disney e ticket attraction at uh, Disneyland <laughs> with Deadpool. And it's gonna be amazing. Just get splattered with blood. Splash Mountain. Deadpool. That's what, that's, 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 it's just Deadpool. It's just a pool. Deadpool just a pool. pool. Yeah. Just red. Just a red pool. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be one of the new pools at one of the it's Disney full hotels. Full of Hawaiian punch. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I know that one of us did it. Like, there's four. There's four of us. There's yeah. me, Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and Tim Miller, the director. One of us did it. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I, good, yeah. I don't know who did it. Yeah. We all we all but sort it, of said at the beginning, someone should leak it. Someone should leak it. So some, I, the, the idea was planned, but I'm 70% sure it wasn't me. Okay, perfect. All right, so, good. That's good. That's good. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Ah.